everyone my name is Barb and I'm coming to you today from Ontario Canada and um, as you've seen by the title this is a episode where I won something so I wanted to share this um, maker also with you and so if you're new here welcome this isn't my normal video that I normally do I do a lot of different podcasts so I have a crochet podcast and a knitting podcast so if you do one or the other you can watch either one or you can watch both if you like so if you're new here thank you so much and for watching and I'd hope you consider subscribing and sticking around with me on this fun fabulous journey if you're a returning viewer thank you so much I appreciate each and every one of you especially these last two months when I took some personal time and I will get to that into that in a separate video so just those who want to know about it can know but um, some are pretty obvious if you've been with me before, so just different location, you know, uh, for an FYI, but I'll get into that in another video because this video is all about this box that I got in the mail from Kim at Barnyard Knits. I won on her Instagram post. I was tagged by several of my viewers, so thank you each and every one of you for tagging me and letting me know about the giveaway. So I thought, okay, I will put my name in the draw and I did all the things that you're supposed to do on those Instagram stuff. And then two days after the draw went by and I seen, I took kind of like some time off here and there the last two months off of social media. And so I was getting these message on my phone so when I picked up back my phone I went why am I getting so many tags normally it's maybe one or two here and there but it was a bunch and I thank you all that tagged me because I might have totally missed it or missed out because in case I didn't get on for a week or something which has been known to happen before so let's get into what I received so the draw was for a set of Luca needles interchangeable needles and a two skeins of any of her hand dyed yarn by herself so thank you Kim so much for making it such a hard decision on the yarns it took me a week to decide and then I still couldn't decide just on two so I had to get some more as well I'm so excited I'm so excited because I know what I chose and I know they looked beautiful online and I can't wait to show you so thank you so much Kim for all you do each and every day she's from Barnyard Knits I'd appreciate you going and going on Instagram and following her she also has a YouTube channel so check her out let her know that Barb from Naughty Arnie sent you to say hello and her yarn colors are inspiring to me like she is one of the people that dyed yarn and I would see it on Instagram and every single time I was in love are fabulous just fabulous go check her out she does never what I really 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 appreciate about her is she doesn't have a date and time that she goes out and puts things in her shop and then boof it's gone in five minutes like a lot of the beautiful designers out there of yarn uh, she just plops them in here and there and scattered throughout like one week she might dye a bunch and then put every single day puts them out so you look every single morning when you get up you look every single night before to bed to make sure you're not missing out on her yarns because it's always beautiful to see her updates so let's get into this so here is the box. Now I'm opening the flaps. Now I did order a colorway and I ordered the it for a sweater for myself. I'm sorry for the crinkling. I will kind of fast forward this little part so that you don't hear that. Okay, I wanted to spare anybody that is bothered or triggered by the noises. I don't know if anybody really is. It's just something us podcasters always seem to say. So the first one I have is called, or sorry, it's called By the Fire. 
and it is a beautiful beautiful colorway oh my goodness because of my lighting it's not going to show up very well so what I will do is I will stick a beautiful picture of it beside me here so you can look at the glorious colors in true life but yeah this lighting is not great I'm going to have to rethink about my lighting here okay so it's by the fire and I tell you you can see the flames you can see that all the different colors that flames in a fire would have and then the woods and the charred wood and oh my goodness all the lusciousness oh it's beautiful and just as I would expect how luxurious it feels it is a sock fingering 75% superwash merino 25% nylon it's fingering weight yarn 100 grams and 463 yards and I got enough so that I can make a sweater for myself and I already purchased the mohair to go with it when I was um, in Ottawa at wool time last month which I have to do a haul video for that as well yet so that will be paired that mohair will be paired with this to do a sweater for myself I haven't decided 100% on the sweater yet but it's definitely a sweater for myself oh thank you so much Kim it's gorgeous so by the fire and she has these colors in fingering in um, slub and in her DK and maybe worsted I'm not sure about the worsted but all her different and they of course look all a little bit different than these do right okay so that is those we'll just put them in my beautiful yarn bowl here then I wanted to do, I don't know if anybody follows um, Forest City Knit Girls, but Patty made a, a shawl pattern and released it last year. And it had, you needed some fingering yarn and a slub yarn. And it mixed the two together in this beautiful shawl. And I've wanted that shawl ever since. So I never, I went to Toronto um, to the knitting loft and I was looking for slub yarn and I didn't see the kind of slub that I was picturing when I was thinking of slub yarn so I don't know if it was just they were all out at the time or if it wasn't a big thing anymore but um, once I seen that Kim at Barnyard Knits had slub yarn I had to grab a, a skein and I went to a color that totally grabbed me and then I got the matching fingering. So these are called Lemongrass Tea. Oh, it's showing beautifully from here. But I'll put a p bigger picture so you could see the whole picture beside me here. So the um, fingering is the exact same as By the Fire is. The same um, material, what do you call that? The same base, okay? Um, but it is like a lemony, like lemongrass color. It's just perfect and it's got speckles of like green um emerald reds burgundies some browns oh my gosh and it's the base underneath is like it's tonal like the whole lemongrass color is tonal underneath then with some speckles i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's stunning and then the matching slub yarn okay so obviously the base is a slub right so it's slub, slub fingering, 90% superwash merino, 10% nylon, 437 yards and 100 grams. Look, I don't know if you'll be able, oh, look at the slub right there. Oh, check out that. That is just showing. So here, I'll show the tag sticking. Maybe if I put it closer up here. Oh, maybe there. Oh, and the slub, for some reason, the slub feels even softer than the fingering. It's really, really neat. And it, of course, has the same, like, the same colors in here, but it's kind of 
subtle in a way because of the slug kind of pops more. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't wait. So I have to purchase that pattern yet and work that up. I can't wait. Like that, that's on kind of within the next year I'll be making that. It's nothing that I'm going to be making in the next month or two, but it's definitely something that I definitely wanted. So with, with what I won, I originally, okay, won the needles that I have to show you yet and two yarns. So I purchased the, or sorry, I got the two by the fires for the draw that I won. And then I purchased the two so I could have a sweater quantity. And then of course I couldn't just stop there. So I purchased two for the shawl that I've always wanted because she had slub yarn and I just had to do with it. Oh, and there's a card in here. I love this. Okay, this has a lot. So congratulations, enjoy Kim. And it's Barnyard Knits. And Kim, I don't know if you'll even watch this. I started a knitting journal and it's like a junk journal, treasure journal inspired by Meanwhile at the Castle, the ladies over there. Kind of all I've I've been in a downward spiral there. I went down the rabbit hole of junk journaling, treasure journal, and I'm doing my own journal all with my knitting and crocheting and hand dyeing stuff. So things like this that I maybe ordered, I'll probably cut a snippet of each colorway, put it with the tag and do a page and then put my things that I've ended up making in with it and have like a brag book kind of idea with all my knitting. So this is lovely to be incorporated and I'll probably incorporate the labels as well. So I have all that information in there. So thanks Kim, that's awesome. And then is the needle set. Okay, I'm going to just fast forward while I uncrinkle here. Fast forward Barb. So this is the blush Luca. I learned that that's apparently how you pronounce what I've been saying, Lika, but it's Luca um, blush interchangeable circular birchwood knitting needle set and they're five inch, which I love five inch for a uh, magic loop, for sweaters, for everything. It gives you more to grasp onto. Um, I have used nine inch circulars. I've used three and a half inch Addies. I, I've used them all, but pink, come on now. Like it's pink. Oh my gosh. If you hear chewing my dogs right under the camera. So this includes um, 12 pairs of needle tips, US four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten and a half, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, and seventeen, which is three point five millimeter, three point seven five, four millimeter, four point five, five millimeter, five point five, six millimeter, six point five, eight millimeter, nine, ten, and twelve millimeter. It has two cords that are 24 inches long, two cords that are 32 inches long, and one cord that's 40 inches long, which it has two connectors. So you can connect two of any of those cords together to make it a 60 inch cord, if you like, or 48 inch cord, whatever the math is. So you could take the 40 inch cord and the 32 and have a 72 inch cord if you'd like that. It has four keys, so those are to tighten. Recommend that you tighten because I have had the needles unscrew because you just can only get them tight, so much tight with your bare hands. So use the keys and eight stoppers. So the stoppers are awesome so that you can take, you have your cords on multiple projects, switch your needles over, put the stoppers on and that's on hold for a while. Cause as you well know, if you know me, I've got multiple projects on multiple needles and cords all, all the time. So I, I like multiple projects. All right, so let's open it and sh check it out, shall we? So I'm going to carefully, actually I will cut the band so I can use this in my journal as well. So 
Oh, a journaling lot to use things like something like this that would probably just go in the garbage, but I can actually write notes on it, like where I got it, how I how I got the set, my first project maybe that I knit up with it, things like that. So that'll be fun to look back on one day. So I'll keep that with all of this. And okay, it's a beautiful, beautiful case. It's like a feels like a brushed leather, I guess you would say. And it has a flap with a little magnetic clasp. It has a zipper part in front here. That's empty for now. I'm sure there's stuff in it that I'll be putting inside there. Then you open the first flap and there is all the needle sets. And they're beautiful pink. Oh my gosh, they feel so nice. So nice. I will do a, a more in-depth review of the needle set as I use them. I plan to do like have all the different needle sets that I have and do a comparison kind of video but I, oh my gosh these are nice and smooth the tips are pointy enough but not terrible that you're going to get a um, hole in your finger when you push through if you're like me and you push through the sizing is lovely it's on the metal I don't know if you'll see that there's a metal end here okay where you screw it onto your cord and it's in lead or it's in like a yellow I'm seeing if it's etched I can't tell if it's etched I'll have to look into that for my video but it's in yellow so it really really stands out for me that way the chow goo ones I love chow goo as you probably know but when I'm looking at the sizing it's really hard to see the letters and the numbers because of that they're kind of the same the same color or they glare off the light there's some reason I can't see them very well so those are gorgeous um, take that little gel patch out then there's a little pocket on the bottom here for the clasp and that has all the little things that come with it all the cords connectors um, stoppers whoops um, so these are the keys and the stoppers. You won't be able to see them. I will show them more in depth later. The uh, cords are pink. I'll let you know how they are, what, like how uh, nice and flexible and things they are. And inside we have the assembly guide at, an instruction. It tells you how to assemble the needles. So that's quite handy. So if anybody doesn't know how to do that and then it clips and I absolutely love the case. Oh, and guess what? A behind the needle case, it's Velcro. Sorry for the noise. You can take this out, I guess. Can you take it out? Is that what? I'm not sure. No, oh, no, it's just, just in there, I guess. If you know a reason why that can come off, let me know. I'd appreciate it because that's just new, so I don't know why. But it is gorgeous. I cannot wait to use it. Um, if you have any questions before I get around to doing a video on how these work for me, let me know because I'll probably be casting on, let's be honest, something like ASAP on these beauties. Oh. They're so gorgeous. How lucky was I? I felt so lucky. I've had quite a two months. I'm not getting into that. That's for another video, but I'm so excited and was so honored, blessed, thrilled. There's no words. So thank you so much for Kim for such a generous giveaway for New Year's. I don't know if it was for Christmas as well. It was over Christmas time. The when you could enter so it was everything all together so what a generous generous human being you are so thank you so much and every time i use these i get to shout out kim at barnyard knits don't forget to go check out our yarns because wow you will be blown away they're gorgeous they are stunning stunning like i'm telling you they're my she's my favorite hand dyer colorways 
I look at her colorways and every single time they're gorgeous. So check her out, please do. Let her know Barb sent you over there from Naughty Yarnies. I'd appreciate that. So share some love and let her know that you probably already have her anyway because she's so so beautiful of an artist so thank you again Kim thank you all so much for watching and uh, let me know what you guys been up to what you're looking forward to me chatting about because this week here um, I am recording a bunch of videos this week so that I can get them all out there it's been too long I apologize you'll hear why soon if you're interested at all if you're not just don't watch that video I'm not going to include it in a podcast because not everybody's interested in that stuff so take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video and thanks again Kim oh thanks so much I'm so excited now I get to use this stuff thanks love you all bye